I like the idea of sending these machines very far away and to places that no human being has been before and letting the machines discover it for us and, uh, and bring data uh, back to Earth for other people to, to enjoy and study. So my job description right now is Bepi Colombo Spacecraft Operations Manager. So I, I lead the flight control team for a mission uh, whose name is Bepi Colombo. The objective of the Bepi Colombo mission is to explore Mercury. It's going to be the first European mission to going to Mercury. Uh, it's currently in development phase, so we, we are due to launch in July 2014. I did part of my engineering study in France and then I completed it in Germany uh, as part of a, a European exchange program. And uh, during my time in Germany, uh, my teachers had contact to, to ISOC, to the, to the center in Darmstadt, and they gave me an opportunity to do a, a very short internship here. And as I said, when I came here, uh, this was love at first sight. I found the center so, so interesting. The people uh, were, were talking with so much passion about their, their projects uh, and that uh, I thought, well, this would be the place I would like to work in. Um, I had never really consciously realized that there were so big teams behind these missions that, that were delivering all these great results. You see films like Apollo 13 and this sort of thing, so if you look carefully, you suspect that there is something. But it has happened to me many times that people come to you and say, but once you launch a spacecraft, it goes to its destination and that's it. And, and uh, of course, reality is far from that. I mean, you, you need to drive the machine to its destination every day. You need to pass it the same every day. The machine is autonomous to some extent, but it requires a lot of effort and, and a lot of care to keep it in a good state and, and to, to bring it to, to, to do its mission. So I studied aeronautics and aerospace, uh, but most of the things we do here, you don't actually learn at university. So I would say my university study gave me a lot of technical background to, to help me understand um, some other colleagues uh, in discussions that relate to what they do in their daily life and help me to understand what it means for me to do my job. So I will explain, for instance, when we have technical discussions with the company who is building the spacecraft, um, they will uh, present analysis, technical analysis on, for instance, the thermal environment that the spacecraft is going into, uh, the electrical network that is implemented on the spacecraft. I don't implement any of these, I just use it. But sometimes in order to understand in what envelopes this has to be used and what the constraints are. It's useful to understand also what drives the design or what is behind that. So you have to speak a bit of a language that allows you to extract from what they are telling you what is relevant for the flight operations. They don't know what it means to operate a spacecraft. I do. So I have to, to, to go to them and ask the, the questions in the, in the way that I can derive the information I need to fly. I find it great. I, I love the, the European idea. I'm a, a very uh, uh, convinced and uh, strong uh, supporter of, of the European integration. And uh, I, I could not imagine at this point in my life to, to go back to, to France and live in a 100% in a French environment. I do a lot of music. Uh, I, I took piano lessons as a child and uh, since I'm in Germany I sing in choirs. I, I, I love singing and there are very good choirs in Germany. It's another uh, point I enjoy a lot. I mean, the, the, the culture for, for that is very rich here. So it was not difficult at all to find uh, several choirs to join in fact. And a couple of years ago we, we started our own. We have a, a female octet uh, in Darmstadt with friends which uh, we, we entertain as well. So this is a large part of my private time. When the rocket takes, takes the thing away, that's where you know that you're not going to see the hardware anymore because then it's gone and it never comes back. And, and okay, I'm emotional. In these moments, I, I cannot watch it without having wet eyes. And uh, it, for me, it, it is a, a very emotionally loaded moment with a, uh, as well as a very important one professionally. I, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> So for me, that's it. I've asked myself that question sometimes, but I think I can't imagine doing, doing anything else than what I do here. <laughs>